Way cool. In this video, we'll take a quick look at the line codes emanating from the line code encoder. Here we have the line code encoder, which is clocked by 8 kHz from the master signals. We take the 2 kHz bit clock out of the line code encoder and use it as the bit clock for the sequence generator. The bit rate is therefore 2 kilobits per second. Currently, we are viewing the signal out of the line code encoder and the signal out of the baseband channel filter. Set to position 1, no filter. We have three filter options, position 2, 3 and 4. We'll use position 3. It's a linear phase optimized filter. Well suited for recovering line codes. So we're synchronizing, triggering the scope on the sync pulse of the sequence. We have our input, output visible. The line codes we have to choose from are NRZL, NRZM, differential, unipolar RZ, and then bipolar RZ, RZ, AMI, biphase, dicode, and partial response duo binary. As you can see, the bandwidth of the baseband channel filter is such that the signals are significantly attenuated. If we now trigger the scope um, by using the bit clock as a trigger, you can now see, as we adjust the time base, that we are able to view the signal as an I pattern. Let's go through the line codes again as I patterns, NZL, NZM, unipolar RZ, bipolar RZ, RZAMI, three level I, biphase, Manchester, Dicode and duo binary partial response. Switching to a different filter, you can see we have different eye patterns due to the different responses of the filter. The student can characterize the filters, frequency, and phase response.